Let's look at complex fractions, problem type 1. So what we've got is a whole bunch of funky looking stuff. You notice there's a fraction in the numerator and a fraction in the denominator. So it's pretty complex. We know that when we have fractions, we uh, dividing fractions, like you're, you're used to seeing this, 1 half divided by 3 fourths, something like that. Well, you know, that could also be written like this, 1 half divided by 3 fourths. And either way, regardless of how it's written, we know that we rewrite that first step, rewrite as a multiplication of reciprocal. So we'd rewrite that as one half times four thirds, right? So we're going to do this the same way. Step one, we'd write the 15b to the fifth over 3c cubed d cubed. And then it's going to be times, and we're going to have to write the reciprocal of this denominator. So the 9c squared d goes on top, and the 5a b cubed goes on bottom. So that's step one right there. Step two is really just going to be simplify. So we just can cross cancel here. So we notice that we've got this 3 goes into this 9 3 times. This 5 goes into the 15 3 times. We've got c squared takes away two of those c, so we're just left with c to the first. We've got a d on the top that takes away one of those d, so left with d squared. And then if we look at the, um, the b, we have b to the third down here, takes three of those away, we're left with two of them. And if we look real carefully at what's left, we've got 3 times 3, which is 9. And then we've got a b squared. And then in the denominator, we've got a c d squared a. And that's it. One more quick example. We see that the first step, we rewrite it. <coughs> 20 b to the fourth over 3 c cubed d squared. And we're going to multiply that by the reciprocal, which is 12 c squared d over 5 a b squared. So that's step one. Step two is simplify. So the 5 goes into 20 four times, the 3 goes into 12 four times. We've got these c squareds take away two of those, we're just left with one c. We've got b squared here takes two of those away. One of these d's takes away one of those and we're left with 16 b squared all over C D A. That's all there is to it. Whoops. Wrong one. Have fun.